The Skylander series is something that's close to my heart. It's a series that I initially looked down upon until playing it because of what they had done to Spyro. I of course now realise that I was an idiot and it really doesn't matter because the series is fantastic. The series has always been very innovative with what it creates. The next entry of the series, Skylander's Trap Team, comes out later this year in October and has the fantastic gimmick of being able to use an item called a Traptanium Crystal to trap bosses who have escaped from Cloudcracker Prison and let them fight by your side. We have already seen through gameplay that Chompy Mage from Skylanders Giants will be one of the trappable bosses in the game, so I thought I'd go ahead and make a list of the top 5 bosses I want to see become trappable in the next Skylanders game. I hope you enjoy. First, some honourable mentions. I sadly haven't played much of the 3DS title, so I can't say just how interesting or powerful the villains are, but I think it would be pretty great if we had a cameo from one or two of them. Next is Drillex from Skylanders Giants. I think it's fair to say that I love Drillex more than I should, so I would jump at the chance of being able to fight Drillex again, but better yet, play as him now, that would be fantastic. The only reason this boss isn't on the list is because he's sadly way too big. There is no way you'd be able to play as him in confined areas, and sadly that means we probably won't see him again. At least not in this game. The final honourable mention is an honourable mention for the same reason, its size. The Hydra from the final battle in Skylander Spyro's Adventure. This four-headed beast is something you don't want to challenge without being prepared, and sadly, since this battle is incredibly tough, you won't be. Whilst you're fighting chaos, this beast will launch spinning fireballs, grass pellets, shoot deadly lasers, and throw many DOOM sharks! Oh, that's where they come from. Anyway, as awesome as this boss is, sadly it would never make its way to being playable. But hopefully we can fight it again, properly this time. Now, let's get to the actual list. Number 5. Chaos. What? Chaos at number 5? Why only number 5? Well, that's a good question. Chaos is an incredible villain, funny, intelligent enough to have brilliant schemes that nearly work, an amazing voice, oh man that voice, thank you Richard. But think about it, if we were to play as Chaos, he'd probably be pretty useless. In every Skylanders game he's been enhanced in some way. The first boss he was in a ship with the Hydra helping. In Giants, he transformed into an Archean robot, and in Swap Force, he evilized himself. He wouldn't do much without an advantage. Sure, it would be entertaining, but sadly, I don't think he'd be very useful. Yes, he was able to summon darker versions of the Skylanders in Spyro's Adventure, but that may not be his power, especially since he didn't abuse it, which he should have done if he does have that power. He could summon an army of dark Skylanders at will, hundreds of them at a time. That would work, surely. Why hasn't he done that? And more to the point, why hasn't he summoned any since? I don't know, maybe I'm missing something. I just don't think he'd be that great, to be honest. Number 4. Stone Golem from Skylander Spyro's Adventure The Stone Golem is one of my favourite bosses in the series. It's simplistic, but at the same time, it's just so much fun. The Stone Golem will either roll huge boulders at you, or let boulders rain from the sky. Two moves that, if sped up a little, would work quite well as you control him. He's a big enemy, but he's not that much bigger than a giant, so I think it could work. It'd certainly be fun to fight him again, but to play as him, <laughs> that'd be great. Number 3. Chaos's mum from Skylander Swap Force. Okay, so she may be trapped in a magical mirror, but you can't deny that she was a fantastic villain and was a truly entertaining boss fight. Although she mainly relied on her minions to do her dirty work, unlike Chaos, she had some pretty awesome looking attacks coming from her hands, which actually packs a pretty mean punch. I can't see how her portal of power teleporting trick would work when using her, but I'm sure she has quite a few other surprises up her sleeves. If she can escape. Number 2. Vafek from Skylander Spyro's Adventure. The Dragon's Peak Adventure Pack is one of my favourites, and Vafek really interested me. Vafek speaks quite menacingly, and looks truly glorious in design. Vafek has taken the throne of Dragon's Peak, and it's the Skylander's job to dethrone him. He sends his minions to do his dirty work before actually coming down to stop us once and for all. Sadly though, the throne is sat on by another and Vafek turns the stone before the battle actually begins. This really let me down as I think Vafek would have been a pretty tough villain. I want to see Vafek return in some way and be the boss fight he truly deserves. And also, playing as him would be pretty epic. Come on, we need a trappable dragon. Number 1. Mesmerelda from Skylander Swap Force. Mesmerelda is the queen of all things theatre, and she left quite a lasting impression on me. 
One so big that I actually did a male cover of her song, Annotation Right There, totally not doing it to get more views. Of all the bosses from Skylanders, she's the one I really want to see again and again. Her character was interesting, it was creative, she had a great song with her many puppets, and she was a genuinely great boss fight. I would love to fight her again with a different song, and I'd love to play as her, if only for the glorious musical punch she could make whilst attacking her enemies. She could be a force that no one could stop if she was trappable. That I'd like to see. Thank you very much for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, I'd appreciate it if you clicked that like button. Tell me what you like and what you didn't, improvements can be made in the future I'm sure. If you want to see more videos like this, tell me what top 10 or top 5 lists you'd like to see, Skylanders or otherwise. I'd like to thank CoinOpTV for letting me use his amazing footage of his gameplay of the Skylander series. He's a fantastic YouTuber who's definitely worth checking out if you haven't already. Trust me, you won't be disappointed. I think that's all from me. If you really like the video, maybe you'd consider subscribing? Eh, yeah, maybe not. It's your call. Either way, I hope you have an amazing day. See you later.